Right behind them is Stephen Wallace. All four position. That is eighth, ninth, and tenth. On board with Stephen. They got a mixed decision of what happened here. You got two tires, no tires, gas only. A lot of stuff like that now. Battle for ninth. You've got Stephen Wallace and Paul Menard. You know, Marty, we talked earlier about this race hasn't been one farther back from the 11th place. You got to believe that these drivers are hearing that and they know those stats. They want to get these cars in the top 10 because it is very hard to pass at this racetrack when you get way back. These front ends take off. They start pushing and slipping and sliding. It's tough to negotiate this bumpy track. And we've got Stephen Wallace taking a look underneath Michael Annette. That's for eighth position on the racetrack. And while this is going on, we'll tell you that uh, Reed Sorensen's lead is now 1.5 seconds as Stephen clears for the position. You see how bumpy that track is. Those cars just jumping all over that thing. But I do see him working the top side a little bit more. Jamie, what's the 66 saying? Well, so far, so good, Rusty. Both of the RWI cars, same setup actually is what they came in that last pit stop. They both opted to do a track bar adjustment. Both cars are tight, but they are moving forward. Stephen Wallace started 16th, running ninth right now. The car has been good. Communication is good, and he's going forward. Well, the guy that used to drive the 88 just went around him for 11th. Let's move farther forward, and we can see Josh Wise under attack from Stephen Wallace. This is for seventh. Now, Stephen finished eighth last week, so it looks like some of those changes uh, you and the team made are paying some dividends. Well, Brad Doherty was talking earlier in our countdown show about testing. We just started doing some testing, and it's helped both of these cars. I mean, there's a limited testing available now. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with it. I think these guys got a little more need a little more freedom. But man, whenever you get on the racetrack and try some things, and you're not in competition, it's just uh, a better deal. And so far, it's working well, for us. Let's also be honest. I mean, you made some personnel changes as well. I made some personnel changes a little bit and uh, hey, one thing I had fun with I got to drive the car that was pretty cool. <laughs> well Josh Wise you see him there going underneath Robert Richardson Jr. in the 23 and uh, Stephen pulling away from Josh right now and uh, Wallace safely ensconced in seventh place. Stephen Wallace has moved up to sixth. He started 16th already gained 10 positions says since the last pit stop when they made that track bar adjustment the car is great now in one and two he's still a little bit tight in three and four remember Stephen Wallace won an ARCA race here back in 2006 he knows how to get around here doc indeed he does and back come on boys let's get in a nice smooth stop on this five hour energy Toyota He had to fill a little five-hour energy in him there. Good, good job for Hollywood. You can see that uh, Stephen Wallace is now up to sixth position. Two penalties. We mentioned the one on the 99. They had a rolling tire outside the box for Trevor Bain. And the 40 also had equipment. Jeff Green, as uh, they are going to go to the rear. That it for you. It'll be Joey Logano up front. And then it's Brad Coleman, Reed Sorensen, Justin Allgaier fourth, Mike Bliss, Stephen Wallace, then Brad Keselowski seventh, Josh Wise eighth, Paul Menard ninth, and Michael Annette rounds out your top ten. Here comes Brad Keselowski. He has gotten around Stephen Wallace now. Move Brad up to six, Stephen back to seven. There's Michael Annette in that 15. He's having a good run tonight. He sure is. As uh, He is fighting hard. A 31.8 second lap last time around. That's uh, right with... Stephen Wallace and the guys right in front of him. And that got his first top 10 in the nationwide series uh, in this race last season when he finished seventh. It, it, this is going to be interesting. Lights are finally out on the pace car. Again, let's reset it for you. It's Bliss, Logano, Edwards, Wimmer, and gone. That's your top five. Then Bain, Brad Keselowski, Stephen Wallace, Sorensen, and Scott Riggs round out your top 10. Remember when Riggs was a lap down? Got back on the lucky dog, and here he is in 10th. Bliss has chosen the high side on the outside, and as they come down the front stretch, we're back to green flag racing with now 32 laps to go. Oh, look at Gone on the inside of Carl Edwards. They're trying four wide further back also. 
He just told his driver, Scott Wimmer, that we are exactly one lap short. He said, whatever you can do, they're telling him how much distance he has between him and the seventh place car of Stephen Wallace. Says, save whatever you can save, draft anything that moves. Right now, we are just over one lap short of making it. Well, he's got a 1.4 second lead over Stephen Wallace. And now it's actually, yep, still at 1.4 seconds. So if he can breathe the throttle a little bit, maybe he can save it. Three straight from the pole at Kentucky. Second place to Carl Edwards. Brad Keselowski will come off a distant third. Yeah, baby, finally, then Brendan finally, gone. three for three at Kentucky. Yes. Joey had led over 400.